Thomas Wooden Railway has a lot of unanswered questions. What is this train? Is this a Boko? Mavis? Why is it red? The more we know, things get crazy. <clears throat> Troll Thomas. This is a special edition Mattel Thomas Wooden Railway. I'm just kidding, this was a very impressive Thomas prank executed by a user named Kuda. But let me tell you what's not a prank. The yellow white face troublesome truck. I mean the lock car. After an intense Google session, I learned that this is fake. No, 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 it can't be. Great Railway Adventures was a line made because Learning Curve did not have legal rights to sell Thomas in the UK. Although they used different wheels, GRA used identical bodies as Thomas Wooden Railway. Not a lot of people noticed, but the orange lock car also had a blue version. This yellow model could have been a factory sample just like the blue lock car, but again, that is just my opinion. Surprise station giveaway display. Oh man, this hurts. This was sold on eBay on October 16th and I missed out on this. But talking about giveaways, we are going to do our next giveaway once we reach 3,000 subscribers. So subscribe guys. To enter, comment below how many times you see this Thomas throughout the video. For those who entered last time, this answer will increase your chance. Cherish teddies. Now you might ask, Thomas Collectibles, what in the world is a cherished teddy? It all comes down to this 1994 holiday clickety-clack arch stone bridge. How do I know this is a 1994 model? Because of the rainy grain. Well, this was an era where other companies were stealing Thomas Wooden Railway designs to make their own toy lines, and Cherish Teddy was one of them. You might think it stops there, but no. There's this book called Zack's Train Set, and in the front page, you see a kid playing with his trains. Oh wait, is that you, Boko? James, where did your face go? Are you okay? Zany Brainy Zany Brainy was an American-based retail store and they sold exclusive Thomas Wooden Railway vehicle sets from 2000 to 2003. Zany Brainy packaging had these wooden track packaging photos on them. Holes I always wonder why 1992 signs, trees, water tanker had holes on the bottom and I came up with my semi-educated conclusion. They were using rotating stencils to evenly distribute the paint. Then Roy Wilson, the creator of Thomas Wooden Railway replies, No, this is called a position hole. It allows each piece to set onto a rotary chain drive automatic spray machine that travels around while spinning. Also, can I call you dad? Lead poisoning. In June 2007, products tested in China revealed that the red and yellow paint contained lead. An Illinois company will pay more than one million dollars for importing for and selling children's and toys selling that contain too, too much lead, containing lead levels above the legal limit. 1995 wheels. Thomas started printing dates in 1994, but trains that were made in 1995 still have 1994 wheels. There is not a single wheel that is dated 1995. 2000 packaging. Besides from the Magic Railroad and the UK packaging, there is not a single dated 2000 packaging out there that was dated 2000. Soder Bay Tugboat and Cargo Ship. These two boats are the only boats that were active in the 90s and never ever came back. Sad Face Henry. This is where it gets dark. James Audrey had a full hearted hatred towards Henry. He tried to kill Henry in multiple occasions. For instance, Henry's flying kipper accident was supposed to be an excuse for him to die. Henry getting locked inside of that tunnel was another method to kill Henry off. But then, kids kept on asking, Is Henry okay? Where's Henry? So then Audrey had to rebuild Henry to make the kids happy. Sears exclusive set. Unlike other rare Thomas Wooden Railway items, we have never ever seen the set and makes us wonder about its whole existence. Sticker Bill and Ben. Thomas Wooden Railway Bill and Ben were first designed on January 18, 1993 and released mid-1993. 
The very first production running Bill and Ben was made out of decals. Does this mean the first edition sticker Bill and Ben is the same as this sticker Bill and Ben from the pamphlets? Let's take an in-depth look at it. The pamphlet variant had James's face made out of putty, black frames protruded out, and everything was made out of paper decals including the doors. There's also an additional red line on the buffer beams. Where are the 1992 prototypes? A lot of 1992 prototypes were sent to Illinois and the UK for photo shoots and has never been returned. Learning Wall This is the very first Thomas Wooden Railway promotional photo shoot. What's interesting is that this photo contains a 2 to 8 inch track pack inside of an 8 inch track box. This is easily makeable if you're a collector, which leads to the 3 tender pack. Can you remake this? Is it possible? I can assure you it won't be easy because you will need three tenders that have these styles of staples and a tender that has a darker paint. Gordon is going to be the hardest one. Not only you have to get the right staples, but you will need to find a tender that is almost purple dark blue. Neil. Neil in the TV show. Mm -hmm. Where did he go after his railway shut down? Neil was sold to a quarry and allegedly he is still around, but remember, Metal dies pretty fast, so did he die? We have never seen Neil ever since. On the other hand, Neil, Greyface, Troublesome Truck, Suspension Bridge, all got discontinued in 2001. But what is this? Is that a code on the chassis? Code started around late 2004 and how is this possible if it got discontinued in 2001? The bridge and tunnel set which had these three items continued to produce it in Australia until 2007. This is a video of Prototype Millie going on the tracks. Notice how there are accents on the center of the wheel and whoa, what is that? Hold up. That's another prototype. And going back, this Millie is the second variant prototype and by the way, this is how you not treat a prototype. First variant Millie had a longer body. Later, they also went through different packagings. One thing with Mattel prototypes is that they used a very shiny clear coat finish. This Millie is also shiny, but this Gina owned by Flying Scots Film has a shiny finishing coat as well. On the other hand, this is Frida. Nothing overwhelmingly cool except for the fact that it has plastic black holes on the tenders and it is made out of hot toy packaging. Prototype Salty. The very first Salty had 8 wheels, but they later shortened it down on the second prototype, Luke. If we include this rendered image, there was 5 variants of prototypes that we know so far. They all have the same body, but minor differences in graphics. Red Mavis. This Mavis was acquired from a user named Patty, and this came along with a chassisless bill. This Mavis has a boco face, red painted body and skinny stacks. Although this Mavis and Bill had skinny stacks, I believe both of them were one of the last ones to get produced in the 90s. The reason why I say this is this style of skinny stack Bill always comes inside of a blue box instead of the green. This also leads to the red Thomas. Oh, wrong one. Although this Thomas is very blurry, I believe this Thomas has speckled coal. Why? Because of the roof, all the roof that have these outlined or you can say partially painted have speckled coals for both Percy and Thomas. Henry's wooden wheel tender. This looks very handmade and even looks like a custom. But what makes this tender very special is the wooden wheels. This was found in the UK and this could potentially be an early prototype variant sent to the UK. Up till now everything was very factual but going deeper to the bottom this gets very dark. Let's start with the fate of prototypes. Some could have been lost, some could have been thrown away, but some went through mass destruction. This is a message I received and I will read it out for you guys. The factory usually destroy the prototypes and make them look like very bad condition so that they won't sell. Mattel tries to destroy whatever they make. You might think this is bad, but it gets even worse. This information came from a user named Generic and this was a 2007 US Senate hearing. 
To summarize it, workers in China were getting forced to work on Saturdays. But not only that, they were working 14 to 15 hours a day and getting cheated with their salaries. And when they were no longer needed, the factory located at Dongguan laid off 1,500 workers. Reneus, I mean Phineas. You might think this is a typo, but you are wrong. If this was a typo, we would most likely type Cineus or Geneus, where our index finger reaches. Now P is on the upper right, not even close. Workers probably misread R for P, and it turned out to be Phineas. Curse of Reneus. Reneus always seems to be the problem child. <laughs>